All right, so like, I'm just gonna show you a couple little details because today I really want you just to basically go through the same process that you did last, uh, last class again. Um, you'll do another bunch of parts, assemble them, and then drive, drive the constraint. Now the part is a little more complex, but we'll talk about it. But there are two things that I wanna to talk to you about. Um, and that is, one is related to dimensioning that you may have run across and I just want to make sure. I just want to make sure that you, if you bump into it, that you know what it is. Let's do 20, 20. So now, if we click on any of these dimensions, right, there's always that little number that shows up, right? There's obviously the number that is the dimension, but there's also this little D0, right? So we can use that D0 in other places if we want to. So if I do a circle, let's do it right here in the middle, right? So instead of putting a number in, I can say D0, right? And so now if I, you can see that it says it is now kind of a function and it comes to, to, to 20. If I go in here, change this to 30, right, then that, other one goes directly with it, right? So they're, they're linked together. You can also do any kind of equation in there that you want to in your dimensions, right? So I could, for instance, say if I have something else, whatever, a line here, a line there, um, and you know, just I don't have a good example for this, so we'll just do another line. Right, I can always say that this line here is supposed to be the addition of these two, right? So we'd have to go in here and figure out what this dimension is. Again, if we right click and do a line, right, then we have the length. Click that in there, that's D3. This one here is, should be D1, let's have a look. That's D1, right? So I could say down here, I could say, dimension of this one. And I can say, I want this to be D1. Ah, the wrong keyboard, where are we? And D3, right? And so if I ch change any of these, that will change as well, right? So that's, these are helpful sometimes when you have, you know, parts that are supposed to be, where, where dimensions are supposed to be changing with along with other dimensions. And so that's just something, something you, you may stumble over, um, but so that was just something for you to be aware of. The other thing is something that you will hopefully use, and that is, let's create ourselves just a very simple, simple object. So until now, everything has been kind of, boring in its appearance. Everything looks the same, right? Nothing, nothing interesting, all these gray blocks. Um, if you go, there's different ways you can do this. If you go, for instance, the top here, where the little, little colorful dot is, right? You can say, you can click in here, and instead of default, it has all these kind of options that you can make it as a color, right? A glossy gold. Right, so there, your block now has a different color. Now, this means that the entire body that you have here has that color. Right, so if if I add something to it, let's do another sketch here. Right, if I add something to that body, that means that that still has the same the same the kind of color the scheme. If you drill a hole into here, same thing. Zoom in, right? Then you can see if you zoom in here, inside is also yellow. All right? So that that would be if you're acting on an entire block. If you're if you just want to change a little bit of it color wise, you can go in and say you can grab a surface, and then you'll see down here, there's properties, right? So you could go into properties and the thing that shows up is the appearance. And so you could 
to something else. Black, for instance. Right? And then that surface gets changed. However, everything you do to that surface, right? If I if I now do a hole into the surface, uh, sketch. If I drill into that surface, then that does not down, right? Then whatever we see inside is would still be that gold color, right? Because we only changed the surface. Now, if you want to have a part that has like you know multiple actual colors, right? So if this is kind of the surface one, we're just kind of painting on the surface. If you want to have multiple parts that have separate colors, then remember that when you extrude something, instead of adding it to the existing body, you can create a new one, right? So if we do another, let's do it on here. On space, what shape do you guys want? I have a I have a little bit of color. Right, so when I go in and extrude, remember that we can say what we want that at the output here, right? We can say we, that was we could add it to the body, we can cut it out, we can do the other one, or we can say a new solid. If we do that, say a new solid here, it will still say that it's uh, still does the same uh, color, right? Just because of, that was what we're doing. But now, if we look at our solid bodies here, we now have two solid bodies. So I could go onto this one, right? The other way of doing it. Instead of here, you can go and I could go down here and do properties and then do some polished aluminum. All right. And so now again, if I drill into here, then I would get you know the same color out throughout. If I drill something that goes from here all the way through the next one, right, then the first part will be aluminum, the rest will be gold. All right. So this is just something, it's not, you know. Nothing fancy to do, but you know sometimes it's fun to play around with. Um, if you have an assembly, it's a little more complex, right? Sometimes it's nice to color the pieces so you can see they're moving against each other. You probably noticed that um, you can't really see, for instance, in the one that you did there, in the last one, you can't really see the pins, right? Because they're they have the same background color, and there's no there's no space between the pin and the rest of the part, and you can't see anything. So you know if you want to see them, you can, you can change the color. Once you get to your, your fire truck, I really want you to play around with the colors a little bit just to make it look nice, right? We want to have a nice, nice looking truck. Questions about this? All right, if there's no question, then I think that was from my lecture part really all that I wanted to do today. So that 